Nationalities and People's Day is on which the rights and equality of the Ethiopian nations, nationalities and peoples were fully granted and the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopian Constitution was at December 2006. A decade ago, the House of Federation decided to mark a nations, nationalities and people's day on every December 8 to promote their cultures, lifestyles and other values and to strengthen their ties. The day was designed to contribute to the efforts of creating one political and economic community in a country and to celebrate it across the country. It has become an engine to boost tourism and investment in the host regions. The nations, nationalities and people's day affirms the necessity of respect for fundamental rights of individuals and of the country as well as the development of the country various cultures and religions. In fact, the day provide a vital and important demonstration of strong commitment and respect of the federal government and of its peoples for all the nations, nationalities and peoples of Ethiopia and of their individual cultures, territories and modes of life. It has also underlined the fact that Ethiopia has been and still is a common home for all. The constitution of Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia ensures the human and democratic right of all nations, nationalities and peoples of Ethiopia without exception and it has granted equality and mutual cooperation to them all. The festival is hosted each year in a different regional state or autonomous city administration. This year's Ethiopian Nations Nationalities Day was organized by the Oromia Regional State and marked in the capital Fimfine. Let us take a look about the day. Stay tuned and keep in luck. Okay, this is the 14th edition of Nations, Nationalities and People's Day. And it's organized by the Oromia Regional State and is being colorfully marketed in capital Fimfine, which is the capital of Oromia Regional State, Ethiopia, as well as the seat for African Union headquarters. This year's Nations, Nationalities Day is being celebrated under the theme our constitutional covenant for lasting peace. Uh, as it's all known, Ethiopia is a cradle of uh, ancient civilization and mankind. It's immensely endowed with historical, ecological, and natural resources as well as uh, cultural diversity. The country consists of over 18 nations and nationalities with respective uh, language, culture, and tradition. Uh, here I have a participant from Ben Shangulgum. They come up with a musical traditional musical instrument called Zumbara. This is the way how they play it. This is an instrument used during war time to defend from their antagonists. It's uh, made out of a dried laser of hippo, and this way they defend themselves during war time. You see? Stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. This is the way how they did defend themselves from the antagonist warrior. Here I have participants from Murphy. This is their uh, instrument. Actually, it's, uh, they use it uh, during fights to defend themselves from harm. They defend like this. Get defend? Okay, this is the way how they do it. Can you show us? Okay, here we are. This is the umpire. He's the mediator. He runs the game. Whenever he whistles a whistle, they're supposed to stop. This is the way how they uh, defend themselves from hunting. Thank you. Ethiopia Liberal Assembly Dal Hayazate, Ba Urumia Azrajinet, Ba Azrajatanya, Quadrasaju, Quadrasen. First of all, I would like to say happy for these nations, nationalities, and the people's day. I came from Ben Shengul Gums Regional State to talk about my outfits and the instruments I carried. They are exact copy of the National Defense Forces costumes. 
This is a gun which our forefathers used to keep the sovereignty of their country from harm. Whereas this is a casket for bullets. This one is an outfit made out of leather. My dress coat represents heroes of pastime. And this is a spear that our forefathers used to defend themselves from invaders. Whereas this one is tiger's leather, and our forefathers used to wear it when they kill lions. This outfit is traditional dress code of Morocco nations, and each color has got its own meaning. This represents honey color because honey got special place in the Morocco nations, and the middle one is white, which represents peace and symbolizes milk. The last one is yellow, it shows prosperity. <laughs> My name is Atanafu Saifu. What I have in my hands are called kare and uh, tolako. The kare is used to sit on and uh, as a pillow during sleep. This stick is called tolako. We use it during funeral ceremony and uh, mourn, as well as on wedding too. <laughs> ያንድነት <laughs> ለመሆኑ እዚህ ግንባር ያለው ነገር በኦሮሞ ባህል ከለቻ ይባላል በገዳሳት ይሄ እርሶ ምንድን ነው ምንን አመለክታል ምን ማለት ነው እሄ በጋሞ ቢረሰብ ካላቻ ራሱ ካላቻ ነው ስሙ ጀግንነትን በተመለከተ ጀግንነትን ያሳያል ያ ማለት ኦሮሞና ጋሞ የሚጋራው ነገር አለ ማለት ሆኖ ወይስ በሚገባ ኦሮሞ ከኛ ጋሞ ከኛ አመሰግናለሁ በጣም እና አመሰግናለሁ what is said i still i don't have another guest but this guy from gamo told me that the kalacha the uh, forehead gear which shows which is a symbol of power now i've got another guest i'll tell you what he tells me afar berawi kilelawi mangist argo bal yorada eski ezi ba lai bemagenyeto ye beher beher sewoch kan sinna kemr min isemawtal betam des silenyal hege mangisto yetedegebet saat now we kan now na yetebe beher beher sewoch zare eziga hulum tegenayten beka andinetachilin ubetachin now بقى بغارا هونن اورومون ساي كا اورومو غار كا افارو غار كا سوماليو غار كا دبوچ غار كا امارا غار بدستا بقى بالاش مننا كبربت كنو دس يلال بالاش نو جيب دس يلال بير بير سبو يكن مكبرو ايتوبيا ناند بت ياتناكرال بلو ياسبالو اسكي ديت ياتناكرال بتا بتا ميرس ياتناكرال ياتناكرنال كلاچن بالن بتون يراساچن مستادر يراساچن هيوت ينورالن دمو ماند لاي اند لي هونه چاغر لا اند لي هونه ايتوبيا بغارا سندغناي بتا دس يلال مالت نو ባርጎብኛ አስገን እንኳን አደረሳችሁ ወልይ እስቴ በወገር አላህ አደረሰሁም ሁማ የሁማ ቀቢላ ቀቢላች ወራ እስቴ በወገር አላህ አደረሰሁም ልዩ አመሰግናለሁ ናው ኢት ጎስ ቱ አረቢክ አክቹሊ አወር አወር ጆርናሊስት መሐመድ አዳም ኢዝ ሂር ቱ ቴል ዩ ኢን አረቢክ ዚስ ቱ ጋይስ ቶል ሚ ዘ ፈርስት ዋን ኢዝ ፍሮም ጋሞ ኤንድ ዘ ሰከንድ ዋን ኢዝ ፍሮም አፋር አክቹሊ ሂ ኢዝ አን አርጎባ ጋይ ሂ ቶል ሚ ዘት federalism works federalism has has good power to link togetherness to have that tie and it is what what i i earlier said it is a manifestation of the unity of nations nationalities and peoples of the country and when i like i i said we do have many things in common they told me that they i mean over 80 nations nationalities and peoples of the country uh, live live in ethiopia together for millennia and though there are differences the unity which cements them together is there ethiopianness and togetherness this is what all they say the constitution which was ratified 25 years ago is also uh, meaningful to address unity of the people <laughs>
The 14th edition of Nations, Nationalities and the People's Day is quite unique. As you can see, the temperature is pretty good. We came up with different cultural dances and the shows. Up next, we will also exhibit traditional food that to be brought from our hometown. Generally, the event is really amazing. Yeah,